Hi, in this video we want to talk about LibreOffice 7.6 Alpha. Uh, it's not released yet. There are many changes in menus, in uh, functionality. Uh, there are a lot of bugs that have been fixed. So uh, it's much better than the previous versions. Of course, there are a lot of bugs. You can see every day um, we have bugs that are solved in 7.6. You can see them a lot in April, March and so on. So let's see some of them that was solved were solved recently. Input field for QR code does not allow new lines. So let's insert a QR code in a old version. So if I want a multiple line, if I press enter, it's inserting. In the new version, I have this field that allows us to insert multiple lines. Auto text. So if I select this text and I want to insert an auto text, I have to write a name and a shortcut. In the new version, the name of the auto text is proposed based on uh, the first text I uh, selected. Auto recovery, um, let's go to options, load in general, and this option save auto recovery always create backup are disabled by default. In the new version, you can see it's enabled for 10 minutes and create backup copy. So much safer. In the title bar of any document, we have hyphen instead of m dash. You can see here and in the new version, we have m dash. When we want to add a new word in the dictionary, uh, was an error. So 30,000 uh, was the old limit. Now the sky, it's a limit. Here we have a document we can uh, preview. And here we have uh, some options, but uh, they are not working in preview mode. Let's close. In the normal view, if you click here, it's changing the view. Let's see again. So in the new version, we have bigger icons. And also, um, if we go to preview, they are not here anymore. But of course, you can change the view from here. Book, preview, and single page and so on. Outline is renamed headings in table of content. So let's see. One change is about uh, a preview. So in the ver old version, we have preview and the window is too big. So we can disable in the old version, but by default in the new version is disabled. And another change here is outline. And now it's heading and we have a nice tooltip here. Again, in table of contents, another change from evaluate is changed to show in chapter numbering. Let's see. So for entries, we have chapter number. And let's go in the new version. We have numbering. So uh, another change here is much clearer with N a number instead of A a number and evaluate is transform to show and is much easier to understand. In calc, improve design of comments. So let's see, we have a comment here and the number is very hard to see on a different zoom. So this is a new uh, indicator for comments and it's transparent. So we you can read the number better. Special character dialog. Uh, it's an improvement here. Let's search for a special case. Let's uh, search for space. 
so we don't see anything because space is invisible but here are many different uh, kind of cells if i click here it's end space end space but if i click here it's nothing so let's go in the new version more characters search for space you can see we have with black where we can choose from any space we want and here where it's white is nothing another change improvement in table of content so instead of use level it's uh, use outline so let's go to user define here it's an old sentence that was improved from user define and he, here it's use outline level and of course we have a tooltip let's talk about sort dialog it's a big improvement here let's select data sort we have three criteria and we cannot resize this window if we have more than three criteria we need to scroll down uh, inside this window okay in the new uh, option we can resize the window so more criteria will fit here and if i go again it's remembering the size of the window let's talk about find so let's search for a now let's search for b and let's search again for a let's close it let's find again and it's opening with b instead of a being the last one in the new version is remembering the last search item so searching for a searching for b again for a closing this and opening again it's a it's correct and a lot of improvements have been made in formula about round up round down and floor and so on so you can try new changes in LibreOffice 7.6. Thanks for watching and please subscribe for more video. Thank you.